Hi everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go through the process of making it so you can go up to this car here, push E to enter the vehicle and then take possession of the vehicle. Um, so this is a very basic car that I got from the driving template in Unreal. Uh, nothing too fancy there. Um, I haven't done nothing apart from migrated it into this project. So to do this we need to go and edit some code on our car. So let's go to our car. And on the viewport here, we want to be in viewport because we need to add in uh, some area where the plane has to be to actually interact with the car and get into the car. So I'm going to go add a new box collision. And I'm going to position this roughly on the driver's seat. And then I'm going to change the box extents in the y axis. So they extend just outside the door. And then I'm also going to spread it a little bit in the X. So I've got a bit of leeway there. Okay. A little bit more in the Y. There we go. So now that would be the area where the player has to stand in order to interact with this vehicle to get into it. So for this, I'm going to actually show you a new way of interacting with stuff. Um, I've shown numerous methods of accomplishing this task. There are loads of ways of doing it. Uh, this is just another way. But essentially, whatever you want to do to make it so you interact with stuff, it's the same code for that. So let's go through this process of how you do this way. So on my uh, player character, we need to set up and interact here. So I'm going to right click and do uh, just E key for now. So do the E key. And with the E key here, we're going to create a event dispatcher. And we'll do call it interact. Okay, and then we just drag that out where we pushed it and do call. So when you push the E key, it calls the event dispatcher. So anything that wants to listen out for that will react accordingly. So let's tell our sedan here, our car here, to uh, listen out for that E being pushed. So on my event graph, I'm going to right click my box component we just added, go add event and add a component, begin overlap. Then we're going to use the other actor pin to cast to the first person character. And that's important because we need to A, check that the character is the one that's overlapping the car. And B, we need this reference here so that we can come out of here and bind an event to interact. So now we're going to bind an event to the interact key. So when we push the E key, that will shout out. This is now bound to it and it will now react accordingly. But it'll only do this if we've begun the overlap. So the event here, we're going to do a custom event, and we'll do take control of car. And the car itself is a pawn, so a pawn type requires possession, so you do possession. Oh, we need to get the player, uh, get player controller first of all. And then possess it. You shouldn't have to worry about using the unpossess. It just possess will do just fine because I can do one thing at a time. And with the possession, your controller will go into target, and the in pawn will be self. Reference the car. Next, we need to unbind it. So when we walk away from the car, we no longer want to take possession of the car if we push the E key. So for this, we're going to do the end overlap. So right click on the box and do add a component end overlap. And very similarly, other actor, we're going to cast to first person character to make sure it's the character's left it and then as first person character we're going to do unbind all events from interact and that's all you have to do and that will unbind or untether that link so it will no longer take possession of the car so let's push play and push e and now i can move the car now you notice that I can still see my character and I can still collide with them. So what's important is that with the main playable character is that we turn off the collision and make them invisible or get rid of them or move them somewhere where they're not going to be in the way. So on your first person character, I'm going to do the event Possessed. And on the Possession, when it is, uh, sorry, let's do Unpossessed first. Unpossessed. When it's Unpossessed, we want to change its visibility. So set visibility. And you want to choose the capsule component. 
and you want new visibility to be off and propagate the children to be on and that will turn everything that's underneath the capsule component here invisible then we have to change the collision so again from the capsule component set collision enabled and change it to no collision in the drop down and that will turn off all collision and then the procession event is going to be basically the opposite of this so we can still use the capsule component set visibility this time you're ticking and ticking and then set collision enabled and change it to collision enabled so now when I move into the car my character disappears because they're now technically in the car. And if you had an animation, I don't have an animation, but if you have an animation, you can tell it to play the animation, and when the animation ends, then you take possession of the car if you want. Um, and then to do the same for when you want to get out of the car. So let's do getting out of the car. Um, so this would be on the car actor itself. So on here, we have to use the same, uh, a different key. So we're gonna do E key here, again. Uh, there you go. And when we push the E key, we want to unprocess this thing and repossess the player character. For this, though, we need to, first of all, store the player character as the driver of this vehicle so we know what to process at the end. So on when you do take control of car, we're going to, before we possess it, we're going to get the player character. And we're going to store that as a variable. So return value out and promote to variable and we'll call it driver. And when you then push the E key, we're gonna use that driver reference. So drag that back out. And this is a reference to the exact uh, character in the, in the world. So on the driver here, we're going to uh, set, uh, not set, take to possess. Need to get a character controller first of all, player controller then possess and we want to choose the driver there so what will happen now if you have a look here you will see if I then drive away and push E my character is back over here which isn't exactly right we want to change the location of the player so the location is going to be relative to the side that we want to get out so I'm going to make a reference point just to the left hand side of this vehicle so on my vehicle here on the viewport, we're going to add a scene component. And this would be the exit point. And we're gonna move that into the location where we want the player to get out of the car. And that includes the rotation of it. So I've moved it to the left, and then I'm going to rotate it out a little bit so that the X arrow, this red one, is pointing away from the car. If you want it to be, say, faces the car when it gets out, you can do, it's up to you. So we'll do that. And then on the event graph, before we take possession, we're going to tell the drive, move the driver, sorry. And we're going to set their location or set their transform. Uh, set actor transform. And the transform is going to come from that scene component. So exit point, drag out, get transform. And where is it? Get world transform. There you go. Plug that in to new transform. Now, this is important to note that this is only for this particular web method where you just teleport straight out of the car. If, again, you have an animation, you just make it have a root animation and it just takes control of the player at the end of the animation and you don't have to worry about moving them because they'll be moved already out of the car. Um, so it's important to note that. If I do get around to having an animation that uh, looks fine to get in and out of the car, I'll do a video on that separately. But now we've done that set actor location and when I push play now, uh, I can move the car then and then push the E key and I'll get out of the car. There you go. Car's still moving, probably should still let's not moving, but there you get the idea. Okay. Um, and that's how you take control of a vehicle. 
As I said, if I do manage to get a hold of animations for getting in and out of cars um, that look well enough, I'll do a separate video on how to do that with animations. It's not too different from this. It's just that you do an animation, uh, put like a pause, and then you, like, you do an unpossession, play the animation, and then when the animation ends, you do a possession at the end of it. And uh, that handles all the location setting as well, because it's all root motions and everything else like that. So, um, if I do find it, I'll make a video on it, um, so I'll keep a lookout. Thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and want to consider supporting me, head over to patreon.com forward slash ryanhurley where you can watch other videos, uh, get access to Discord and many other benefits too. Big thank you to all my supporters over there and on YouTube members. This wouldn't be possible without you guys, so thank you again so much. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you have any suggestions for future content, leave a comment below. I'd be fascinated to see what you guys want to see. Thank you again, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.